So working with Samantha regarding a policy review and potentially signing up for a new policy with Guardian or Mass Mutual. Okay. One thing I want to share with you guys is if you are someone that obtained a policy with IBC Global, Steve Parisi, the owner, has a YouTube channel. I send so many people over there. If you actually do fund a policy, please let me know, right? Let me know, send me an email. Hey, Denzel, I, I got my first policy. What I like to do is give a gift, right, to your kingdom, which is access to my kingdom at no charge, right? So I'd like to give access to my kingdom. You can even ask the uh, insurance agent there. I have a whole system set up where you can gain access to my kingdom for at least 90 days to get a deeper dive in terms of, okay, once I establish the policy, what the heck do I do with it? How do I maximize it? And I have a ton of content where I give you different scenarios of how I'm currently using my policy, how my clients use their policy, real life case studies. So if you're someone that does get a policy, keep that in mind. I send emails out letting people know, but you know, people forget, so I'm just repeating. How much interest rate has the Guardian for whole life insurance today and what is the rate for the loan? Guardian, I believe, is 5.65. The load interest rate, I believe, is uh, right now I'm getting charged 5.6. Um, but the crediting rate when I borrow out of my Guardian policy is 6%. So I end up coming out on top. There's no cost of borrowing when I borrow out of my Guardian policy. So even though the loan interest rate is higher than the current dividend rate of the company, I'm actually getting credited a 6% rate on whatever I do borrow. And then the remaining dollars that I did not borrow continues to earn at that uh, rate with Guardian. That's how that works. Uh, he says, I'm about to buy Guardian life insurance and I worry that the infinite banking is not worthwhile with Guardian. So why are you about to buy it? That makes no sense, right? So please, as an insurance agent that sells life insurance, guys, if you don't understand something, why are you buying it, right? That, that, that should be a red flag, right? And look, I'm telling you, I sell policies on a regular to my clients that position themselves to obtain. It's a great concept, it works. I've shown the videos. You gotta look, you gotta go back, you gotta dedicate the time. If you don't understand something, please don't fall into the hype of it. We as insurance agents are just really excited to share with you what we know about life insurance and how it can add to your overall investment portfolio and create asset protection, right? And accelerate generational wealth for your kingdom. That's all fine and dandy. But if you don't understand the basics, don't buy it. Don't buy it, right? Don't, don't rush, right? How can I operate effectively, right? I, I'm foreseeing the market crash. I'm seeing all these different things go on. I need to get the information first. I need to take the time. Me personally, I took roughly six to eight months just to learn infinite banking, to learn it. I watched all of IBC Global's videos and all of Nelson Nash's videos and I found the books and read them and I looked at the articles and read them. I looked at the good, the bad, the ugly and everything in between. That's how I operate and then I got my first policy and I still continue to learn more. I still continue to discover more information. You know, so that, that's, that's all I can say. I have term life insurance. How do I get started with whole life? Education first. Learn about it. Get comfortable talking about it. Find an agent to, to have a conversation with. I recommend reaching out to IBC Global. Mention my name. Watch my content. That's, that's where I start. I got, uh, Denzel says I got, thir uh, Aaron says I got 30K in cash. I know it's trash, 
I got 30K in cash and I know it's trash and I need to get out of it. No consumer debt. Don't like the volatility of crypto. Recommendation on how to use funds. If I got 30 grand in cash, I'm building my business credit and personal credit. I'm gonna go get access to more debt and go buy real estate. That's one option. Second option is, Aaron, if you have a business, if you have a product that you're selling that you wanna bring to the marketplace and you wanna create value in the marketplace, get paid for your time and effort, that 30 grand, I would go build my personal credit, business credit. You can reach out to Brittany Green, description below. You can reach out to Brittany Green on personal credit. You can reach out to my partner, Sebastian Boyer, on business credit. They're phenomenal people, kingdom people, very reliable, will hold you accountable. And then I would take that 30K after I build business and personal credit, credit get access to good debt that pays me money, invest in my business, that 30K, to create content, 90-90-90 rule, redefine my words and language, look at original intent, original design. If I got 30 grand, give some away and invest in yourself right? That's how I would operate. Ebony says, I got a term life with New York life for 400,000 and a whole life for 100,000. I think I did too much. Um, I don't think so. Only if you can't afford it, right? So if you are having trouble affording something, maybe, yeah depending on how that $100,000 whole life is designed. If it was poorly designed, like a 50-50 split, where you've got 50% of your money going towards cash value, 50% of your money going towards um, premium, anything above 50-50, terrible policy, right? If you have 100% of your money going towards uh, premium and nothing going towards cash, the policy is garbage to me. i probably get rid of it keep the term, build up my cash, 10x my income, come back to whole life and establish something that's actually going to help me. Nicole says, what if you get a policy with Mass Mutual? Do you have some arrangement with them in getting access to your kingdom? It's IBC Global, right? So if you type in IBC Global Inc. on YouTube, you're gonna find a gentleman by the name of Steve Parisi. I have a partnership with him. They are an insurance agency that is brokered with different life insurance companies such as Mass Mutual, Guardian, New York Life, Penn, Lafayette, all, all different companies, right? That you can get. Primarily they use Mass Mutual and Guardian. What I was saying earlier, you go to them, you talk to a Samantha, Steve, Stephanie, Phil, Brandon, um, and other new agents that he's adding on. Talk to any one of them, all you have to do is mention my name, right? My reputation will hold value, okay? You get your policy, you pay for it, you establish it, you then and reach out to me. Say, hey Denzel, you said um, bah, 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 I could get access to your kingdom. And I will hold myself accountable and give you access to my kingdom so you can learn even more inside my kingdom in a more structured, chronological way. You can dive into you know, infinite banking and you know, learning how different ways on how we can use the policy. Also on his channel, he goes over so many different ways you can use IBC as well. So that's why I really like them. I'm getting $7,000 in a week. What should I do with it? I think that's what you meant to say. What should I do with it? Uh, before you put your money anywhere, right? Before you dump your money in the crypto and the gold and the silver and all this other stuff, I would make sure that you give first, right? That's a kingdom protocol. Give first, 10%, right? Could go more, right? Give whatever you feel from the heart. Help somebody. And then invest in yourself, right? Buy books. 
by education. If you're looking to invest in crypto, if you're looking to master cryptocurrencies, if you're looking to master Forex, if you're looking to master real estate, buy books on it. Find influencers and successful people that have mastered what you want to learn so that you can maximize, turn that 7,000 into 70,000. You know, like, I think it's education first. I'm gonna take another sip of water here. Give me, a, give me a ice just a sec. I am finishing up the second book from Nelson Nash. Do you recommend any other books to practice IBC? I believe there is a book called What Would the Rockefellers Do? Is one book. What Would the Rockefellers Do? Somebody type that for me in the comments. What Would the Rockefellers Do? For you guys here that um, have read Dif different Nelson uh, Nash's books or other IBC books. Uh, oh, I got a friend by the name of Stephen Gardner. He's got a book called Taming Wall Street. That's a pretty good read. Then there's, uh, I can't forget, I forget the other one. I think it's called High Cash Value Life Insurance or something like that. Oh no, it's called Money, Wealth, and Life Insurance. Money, Wealth, Life Insurance. For those of you that have read other books around high cash value life insurance, the infant banking concept, please go ahead and type it in the comments, drop some value for Tan here. How life insurance is not an investment. If it was an investment, Steve, you'd have to pay taxes on it, right? So because of that, life insurance is not an investment because you're not getting taxed on the gains inside the policy. It is an asset. So you don't want to compare life insurance to an investment. You want to look at it as an add-on feature to your portfolio. Do you have a worksheet on Excel that will help organize our numbers to, to arrive to our four major numbers? Yes, if you go to my website, denzelrodriguez.com. Somebody type that in for me, I appreciate it. www.denzelrodriguez.com. You go to resources and you'll see the spreadsheet is there for free.